Hey guys, what's up? It's Unstoppable. I'm back with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing another grand challenge. I'm sorry, it's been like ridiculously long since my last video. Um, a lot of things have happened since then. I actually went to CRO Combined. It was really nice. And um, I actually retired as well as a competitive player just due to school. I did receive an offer from CRO team, but uh, did I decided not to accept due to um, college apps, senior year, etc. So today I'm going to be running through Musketeers. It's like pretty weak, weak right now. Valkyrie is like insanely strong. And it looks like right off the bat we're going to be facing a counter deck if he's running what I think he's running. It could be the Royal Hogs uh, Magic Archer deck with Valkyrie. Any deck with Valkyrie is pretty much a counter. Um, and unfortunately I actually placed that. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going to be that deck specifically. But instantly we're going to take a lot of damage just from that Magic Archer due to my poor placement here. And I don't really want to pump right now, just because it seems really dangerous too. Uh, I actually have no idea what he's running. So let's just go ahead and play this. Alright, so he's going to have a Hunter as well. I don't know what he's running. This is not... doesn't seem like a meta deck. Um, it could be 3 months tier. Okay, wow. That's pretty aggressive. We can just simply counter this with a Valkyrie. Uh, Valk I'm pretty sure Valkyrie counters Mega Knight fully. Yeah. Valkyrie is just so OP right now. It, I, I, I think it's definitely overpower it's really unhealthy for the three musketeers meta right now um and oh man man it lagged just a bit so we weren't able to catch that flying machine and we're gonna take a ton of damage right now you know, have to play a and let's see does he have that yeah this is just a really bad matchup right now um if he has poison, that's pretty much GG. It's really hard to come back from this. Well, we're only 400 HP down, so let's see. It's not over yet. Um, I'm just going to take that magic auction now and just like 400 damage or so. Uh, yeah, like I said, Three Musketeers is horrible in this meta. I mean, he already has Valkyrie and Mega Knight. Like, I don't even know how I could win this. Um, if he has like, yeah, okay, he has Lightning. Um, I guess that's not too bad. Um, I think he doesn't have like a small spell then, right? Or what exactly does he have? Like, what's his win condition? Hmm. I wonder if Mini Horde is going to be proved to be very strong for us right now. Because, I mean, he's going to have Mega Knight. Oh, gosh. He's going to have Mega Knight for other side, right? Yeah, this is ridiculous. I just don't know. If he has, like, if he doesn't have Zap, it's not that bad for us. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, Okay. Looks like they changed sides. Interesting. And for this magic archer, I'm just going to go ahead and counter that real quick right here. And I'm going to pump up again. It doesn't seem like he actually has a strong win condition, which is fine for me. Um, and it looks like he's actually not that... He actually can't really counter uh, mini horde well, besides his use of. So let's go ahead and rush him right now. I don't think he has magic archer. He's just going to use the e probably. And okay, he has hunter. And unfortunately, yeah. He's going to shut that down, shut that down pretty easily. Uh, let's just go ahead and use the Valkyrie right here. And yeah, he's just going to have Magic Archer again. Hmm. Alright, at least we're going to take care of that flying machine. Uh, let's go and use a bandit to counter this Valk. And then uh, use a miner right here to make sure we get that uh, Magic Archer. And then um, I really doubt he's going to have Lightning. Yeah, alright, perfect. This is actually really good for us. And we're going to go ahead and pump up. And he's going to have to counter both sides at least, right? Um, okay, so he's not going to counter both sides. Interesting, like, I don't really know what his win condition is right now. I don't like. I don't even know if he has one. All right, let's go ahead and use a... Alright, let's see if we can actually finesse him now. He's really low on Elixir. He doesn't have a small spell. He's going to have to use Ewis, right? Alright, he's going to defend that pretty well again. Um, yeah, he's just really like... There's really nothing we can do. Hopefully we can get abandoned in time. Alright, it's not too bad. And that actually that right tower is getting chipped lower and lower. Um...
Wow, this is a battle. Um. Yeah, I don't even know what to do right now. Sorry, I'm not commentating much. This is a crazy. Alright. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on, take the tower. Let's, let's go. Ooh, crazy game. Um, I actually don't think that was too bad of a matchup. It was just, like, seemed really bad. He, like, I mean, he has, like, a crazy deck. Like, I want to see this guy's profile. I, like, I kind of messed up at the end. Uh, panicked a little bit, but... Oh, he had P.E.K.K.A. too? <laughs> That's a crazy... Look at that deck, a 5.0 deck. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't even know, like... He definitely can improve... He, he can improve that deck. I, I'm surprised he made it to 9 wins. I mean, it seems like he has a lot of answers, actually. Uh, it's just really, really weak to Minion Horde, except it has Magic Archer, of course. Um, so, like, if we use... So, like, in this matchup, the key was always to defeat the Magic Archer, because the Magic Archer finesses everything. So, like, you would want to use, like, defensive miners um, and stuff like that to counter the Magic Archer. And then, if you can take out the Magic Archer, your Minion Horde defensively will, will reach, like, insane value, because he can't stop it. His best counters like Ewas and Hunter, which aren't really that great of counters, uh, like on defense, uh, they they can destroy Minion Horde, but not on offense. Like not when you use Minion Horde against them defensively. So yeah, that's like I mean, really really interesting match. Um, like yeah, I'm really surprised I ended up winning, but yeah. So now let's move on. So we're at ten wins. Let's hopefully we can get twelve. It's really hard to get three months here, like twelve wins with a traditional three months deck. There are some decks that are like almost instant losses. For instance, if they have three Musketeers with Fireball and Royal Hogs, it's like almost an instant loss. It's almost impossible to win those matchups because they have Valk and they have Fireball and they have three Musketeers. So they have three counters to your three Musketeers. Um, let's go ahead and just zap. I like to do that in the beginning. Uh, usually a pretty safe move. And if he's not gonna. Alright, he's gonna play really, really aggressive. Let's just hope we can take that out right now. As long as we can take that out, we'll be fine. Perfect. So he's gonna. So we're only gonna make up one positive elixir trade right there, but he's probably gonna have to counter this. So right off the bat, he's gonna have Valkyrie. So once again, it's gonna be not the easiest matchup. Now, I'm not sure. Let's like I'm not sure what exactly what deck he has. It could be Lava Loon. All right. So it's Lava Loon. So now let's just go with a Goblin Game Valkyrie combination. He's probably gonna have to fireball that. Yep. Perfect. So he's gonna fireball that, and now we can safely use three Musketeers. Um, and this is going to be a really good matchup for us. This is like one of the good matchups. Um, usually this matchup, best matchup is probably, um, like it doesn't hard counter anything really. Uh, we're going to have to zap those fire spirits, unfortunately. Perfect zap by us, if you saw that. That was really good zap. Um, he's going to just counter that with a Valkyrie. I mean, Lava Loon used to be like the best matchup for the Must Tears, but not really, I mean, along with Graveyard of course, but not really anymore. Uh, just because Valk, like, just, I mean, Valk completely changes this matchup. Uh, originally, you know, you, uh, you would say that Three Musketeers hard counter is Lava Moon, but now it's more of like a 70-30 matchup. Um, I mean, any, like, typical giant cannon card decks, those are hard counters as well to Three Musketeers. Um, this deck does do very good, very well against Graveyard, like, but very good Graveyard players can definitely win. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're gonna use our minion horde on that balloon and let's just hope it takes it out. If he fireballs, that's fine. Now we're going to zap and perfect. It's going to take that out. This game is already pretty much won by us. Uh, we're just going to play a theme series down to clean up the Lava Hound. And yeah, so really, really good start by us. If you saw the key was seeing that he used his, uh, his Valkyrie. Going with the Valkyrie Goblin Gang and then being able to use the Mustard to take out that Lava Hound was perfect for us. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and just play um, uh, here. Uh, he's gonna have a Furnace instead of Tombstone, which is interesting. I don't really know if that's better for him or worse, considering that we have, I mean, Mini Horde, but we, we should we always are able to zap that and get away with it. So let's go ahead and play the Mustard now. There's no way he's winning this. Good game. Uh, oops. Good game. Well played, and we are on our twelfth, our eleventh win now, going for our twelfth, and let's see what we get. I mean, yeah, so like Golem could be tough. It really depends. Golem is not too bad because you can. It really depends on how you play it. Golem is more like a fit, like a skill matchup. 
Uh, Giant, usually bad because they usually have three spells and Cannon Card, uh, Royal Ghost. Decks with Royal Ghost are a little bit more difficult. Now, Pekka really depends. It's another skill matchup. So, like, with Three Months Tears, it's all about skill. Like, I'd say this is the most skilled deck that you could play out there right now. Um, 2.6 Hog is also a pretty, a pretty skilled deck. But the thing is, like, once you learn it, um, and it looks like it's a Pekka deck. And we're going to have, oh, wow. I did not know he's going to have that. Well played by him. I mean, I, I mean, there was no way I could have known he's gonna have this uh, wizard in it. So we're just gonna simply zap. It looks like we're lagging just a bit, but that's fine. Um, and I can't defend both sides, so we're just gonna go ahead and take out these royal hogs on this side, and then just go ahead and play a pump on the other side. That way, if he poisons, like if he like, so some things that like before you play your pump, sometimes you want to like watch out for like right here. He's gonna have a royal ghost. So I'm just not even gonna counter the royal ghost because I want I want to make them split their damage always. Um, and right now I'm debating on what side to play my pump on, but I, I think I'll play it on this side because it's even if he like fireballs or poisons. Yeah, he's gonna fireball, so it's still gonna be even. Like the damage is even still. And seeing that he has Wizard, it makes this a little bit of a tougher matchup, but that also means that he probably doesn't have... I don't know if he has a small spell right now. Okay, so he's going to play a P.E.K.K.A. now. So that means uh, his only answer to my 3 must tears will be his Ghost. So let's go ahead and play a Bandit as well as a Miner. And that's going to be a lot of damage. Perfect. And unfortunately... Okay, so we're going to take out his Tower, so really, really well played by us. Um, he's probably gonna have a ghost soon, and if he zaps right here, we're gonna be in trouble. Uh, we're gonna zap as well. Perfect. Really well played by us, actually. And, ooh, accidentally misclicked something, but if he fireballs that, I'm gonna be fine with that. It's gonna allow me to pump up. He's probably gonna take the tower, but not too bad. I don't know if he's gonna take the tower, actually. Alright, he is gonna take the tower. Um, yeah, Royal Hogs are pretty strong right now. Just go ahead and play Three Must Tears now. And cycle to a Bandit real quick. Perfect. Now, this is a pretty even game right now. He can play P.E.K.K.A. anytime and just devastate us. Okay, this is fine by us. Alright, we're going to be looking to play three Mustiers in the pocket right now because I'm pretty sure we're up by a lot of Elixir. And there we go. Okay, it looks like we weren't up by too much Elixir. But we're going to get a lot of damage just straight off the bat right there. Um, I just really hope he doesn't play a P.E.K.K.A. right now. We'd be in a lot of trouble if he plays a P.E.K.K.A. in the pocket. I'm going to play a Valkyrie here. Oops, messed that up. Come on. Yeah, I think we lost. Oh, wow. We won. <laughs> That's a crazy match, right? Oh, my gosh. That was insane. He definitely messed up at the end. That was a huge choke by him. Well, uh... Yeah, crazy, crazy 12 win. It's actually like really hard to get 12 wins in this meta with three must tears. Um, one of the hardest decks to play, uh, like probably the hardest deck to play, just because like Valkyrie is just dominance. But here you go, guys. Here are the matchups. Um, we lost two in a row. This is one of the hardest matchups, and of course, this is like a hard, hard counter, um, and almost impossible to win these two matches. Um, this matchup is like really difficult because he has a bunch of answers to you. So, but yeah, like look at all these other matches. This is another hard, hard counter. And actually faced a really hard counter right here against this is like the hardest counter possible. Like he has bowler, zap. I mean just look at this these this meta against three must tears. Really, really tough. This one, of course, again, Valkyrie. Any combination of Valkyrie, Fireball, Zap, Log. It's just so difficult. Um it was so much better when people had Ice Golem instead of Valkyrie in their decks. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um here we're gonna do the chest opening and 
even though I'm retired from competitive Clash Royale, I might be back for CRO next season. Um, I'll still try to produce as many videos as I can. Sorry for the long wait. I'll try to be more consistent. And here's the chest opening. Really hoping to max out this account, actually. Um, wow, lots of lots of comments. Really good. Uh, really neat comments right now. And then I'll be able to do some ladder pushing videos. Uh, and yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I've been getting a lot of legendaries from like four or five win grand challenges even lately. Um, and yeah, see you guys in the next one.